Hello, you sperm busting, cum busting dumpsters. Welcome to Fort Benning, Georgia. But here we have a fantabulous golf course, swimming pools. We got nice arcades, but you don't need to concern yourself with any of that, soldier. You got 10 seconds to get off my butts, numb nuts, and none of them already gone. Move out, move out, move out. What's good, peeps? Back here with another spectacular video blog. And that was just a taste of what happened to me when I joined the United States Army back in 19... was it 94? Another spectacular video blog about the Army. Shot in, shot out. This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. And if you don't like the F I'm saying, kick rocks with no socks while wearing flip-flops. Let's go. What's up, guys? Hey, look. I got this little action figure from a place called Outlaw Bandit. I'll put all the information on the screen in the link below. This guy is awesome, not only because he is a miniature version of Sergeant First Class Spectacular, but let's, hey, let's face it, there's some quality work done. And who wouldn't want to be modeled after me? That is awesome. That is awesome. Look at all that detail. So all you Army guys out there, all my Army buddies, if you're watching this and you want a quality figure, something to give to those guys, go away, things of that nature. It doesn't cost too much. You better get on it now because once he gets famous, this guy is making dolls for the Pentagon, all types of stuff. These things are probably going to blow up. And it costs a lot more than what I pay for mine. I'm not going to tell you what I pay for mine because I know you nosy. He's got articulated weapons, hands, his Kevlar, which we, we, for you civilians, we call his helmet a Kevlar or an ACH. That's what I'm here for today to explain uniforms to you. All his stuff kind of comes off, things of that nature. So go ahead and get you one. What I did want to talk to you about today is Army Life. And I did a video back a while called Army Life Volume 1. It was half cartoon, blah, blah, blah. I put a link in the description or somewhere around here I'll put a box for you to click on if you want to see that and that video did a lot better than I thought it would do which was a surprise to me and I can't speak for other branches of service I used to be a recruiter like I said in one of my other videos I can only tell you about the standards for United States Army and why would you want to join any other branch really I mean <laughs> we the first we the best we'll be the last cool if you like this video and you plan on joining and you want to know some more about uniforms maybe you might want to leave a comment down below and tell me mm. but for now let's get into it all right let's get a good shot of that Maurice all right stop messing around why are you moving the camera dude? look man I don't even know why I let you be my camera anyway look here guys I'm gonna try to explain this to you as best I can if my cameraman would hold that camera steady all right this is the uniform itself as you can see here this is the top portion of the uniform and on the ACUs, you can put any awards and decorations and things of that nature that you have earned throughout your military career. I will start by describing the tabs and things that go on it to you. Now, if you're joining, then they're going to issue you about four sets of ACUs, I believe. I don't know if that's still the same, but when I came to the Army long, once upon a time ago, that's what it was. And they will charge you for these, but they'll take it out of your check. As you can see here, we have, if you don't, there you go. Come on, Maurice, work with me, dude. You see, name tag goes on the right side of the uniform. And as you can see, this is a spectacular uniform. And on this side, on your left side, you're going to have a U.S. Army tag right up here. We have a regulation, Army 670-1, that tells us where to put everything. Now that right there, if you can get a good shot of that, Maurice. That is a recruiter's badge and how it looks. Now, all my stuff is sewed on and this was what we call the pin-on version of the recruiter's badge. Wanted to be a drill sergeant, but Uncle Sam and the Army didn't think I should do it, but whatever. And if you pan up, come on, Maurice, to the top, that little doodad right there is a knife in a wreath. We call it a combat action badge. And you get that for being attacked under fire. A long time ago, a bunch of what we call POGs, this the pin-on version. I forget the actual acronym. Maybe somebody who in infantry can get on here and tell us. 
got a little upset because we didn't have an award like they did for getting attacked. So they came up with a combat action badge and you have to be under fire or some type of attack in order to get that. Me, myself, I wasn't walking to the chow hall people. I was on a convoy with some of my other peoples. And you know how we used to do it back in Iraq in 07. Ha ha, shout out to my peeps out there. Sergeant Frank, who is out of the army now. Zygmunt, Ray, Sergeant Gray, who is a recruiter herself now. You pan over here to my left, your right. You'll see that is a combat patch. Now, at the time you deploy, we'll go to combat. You gotta wear, you earn a patch that you wear on your right side. And a lot of slick sleeves out there not wearing this uh, uniform. You ain't got no patch yet. Or been in army so long, you got a patch. This is what signifies that you've been to war. I got two of them. Second Infantry Division and the Third Infantry Division. We all have to wear a United States flag. And the significance of it being backwards, the blue field, a lot of people have to, it's supposed to be in reverse, it look like it's blowing in the wind. On the other side, we have your, whatever union you're currently in, that is the patch you wear on this side. I wore many, many, many patches, and I can't remember them all now offhand. That would be another video for another time. You gotta make sure this uniform fits you, and pretty sure your drill sergeants or whoever fits you these days will make sure. Don't wear no tight uniform. You girls out there who just came in wearing those up the butt crack ones, please correct yourself. If your leader ain't willing to tell you, I'll tell you. Correct yourself, this ain't no doggone club and spandex get your uniform right you also got the combat boots which used to be black a long time ago now they tan lazy soldiers love them and you got your pants that you wear with this uniform tan belt used to be black they changed it you got your what we call cargo pockets on the side that open up i show them laying down on the ground in a second that is the pants you wear a tan t-shirt with it and green socks. Hey look, peeps, I didn't come to clown a while out today like I would normally, I just came to get some good information out there to people who want to join the army and maybe other branches of service if you want to join those. Go ahead and join them. Lord knows why you would, but hey, go ahead and do it. You know, Maurice, I was talking to him. Got my flag here. This is the official United States Army flag, okay? That army star thing you see, that is just a new logo. This is the official flag, so don't let this move taste full, you people. I do an Army Life Volume 3, and that one will be another cartoon. And it'll be discussing rank, how you earn it, and what the levels are, and all that good stuff. So stay tuned. All right. Peace, people. I'm out. I do believe I've shattered my pantaloons.